Was it Mary? Uh, oh, it. I think it just got off during the mission or something. Father, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Hey, that's the side mission. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. This is the Not for quest. us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the <laughs> list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> oh, boy. What what do we have here? Did we unlock anything? Many many um like any new bounties or anything? Doesn't seem like so. Well, there's a bounty on me. <laughs> uh, I have to pay it somewhere. Why is this like white? You see, like some of the areas are kind of white. Do, 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 do. Gold bar, the other ones, you too. Yoink gold bars! <laughs> Is that no? I can't explain! <laughs> no, I have to memorize all the camps, all the camp like locations and stuff. Okay, that's the food. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <laughs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? Yeah, she's really pretty. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <laughs> Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> Just call her by her name. <laughs> so I've graduated woman? from chopping Princess? vegetables to shopping. Such Female. Mouth. <laughs> Damn. Shopping list. You're going shopping. Huh? What's her name? Sadie. You cool down then yet? <sighs> I guess. I ain't no scullion. Oh, sure this is the lady from the very, very beginning. Hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half wit. I guess we all gotta do our Her last share, name? Princess. I don't know. Huh. Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Smith? <laughs> oh, 
robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <laughs> it's a lady. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Why Since do I feel like? Why why do I feel like? Last corresponded, I have traveled <laughs> widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> And what's Roasting this? him. Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Careful. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Ooh. Why, hello there, sir. Never gonna get there in this place. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, I guess we can. Hmm. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws? Ma'am? Right, idiots. We Thank rob you. We rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. I don't think I can- I, I couldn't park the, the horses. Killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Wah, 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 wah. Is everything going well? <laughs> this could have been you. I might get the wooden one. Because the metal just it tasted really bad. And also, it's bad for your teeth. I don't know. I'm scared. What if I... <laughs> Imagine me like trying to like play on the mouth harp and I just like... I just break the front two teeth. <laughs> Howdy, partner! <laughs> okay, we sent the mail. Fine and dandy. That's when I'm here. That would get you a million views. I would be famous. Okay, maybe I should. I'll just stick to her, Monica. I'm trying. Try harder. Damn, she is. Damn. Hello, ma'am. She got some new outfits. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Yeah, she's definitely one of the main characters. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah! So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, 
My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Cinema. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. Okay, I need a cigar. Write that down. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. She's very angry. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You feel. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No, no! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get me! Sadie, you... I mean, slay, but damn. Sometimes a woman has to take care of business. Take your land and wreck it. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Uh, yeah. I didn't want to well, kill him. See some action, lady. Now you... Oh boy. Are you I need eye. I need eye. You okay there, Sadie? Okay, since I don't have an eye, then... Oh, I don't have a shotgun? Clamori, thank you so much! Happy birthday! <laughs> thank you so much, hello! <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember asking you to prove. Thanks for support, gamers. Oh my goodness. Lady, you are enjoying this far too much. There, see? Not. Okay, I need to move in. This was yesterday. Let's go. Leo's. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward. I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drive us back. I'm going to come back and loot everything. Where are we right now? Okay, we are so close to the end. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Oh, I'm the one, yep. like, driving. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack And happy birthday to you as well, um, Anna. But that's <laughs> a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. Hey, watch it. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? More paint? Yeah. yeah like that. She's like, who she knows? went full frenzy anyway, mode. Understandably, but yeah. About that she just needs to think you. more, I think, because right. like making these kinds of impulsive um, decisions might be really bad no for everyone. Name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. Okay, Ray. Tab and R. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead of just searching. Yeah. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. 
Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, Ooh. by the way. Oh, shut up. Oh, 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 oh. Where am I? <laughs> Did you call me? Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> I guess. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. Thank you. Welcome in, Arthur. Welcome in, guys. Oh, it's the smaller one. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Uh, oh! Small. Posted oh, that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Thank you. I don't have any friends. Well, I should get back to it. Oh, sure, well, as you were. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Sneaky time. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I just follow him. Oh, oopsie. Hey. Oh, I'm gonna stay on the right side. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. 
The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. Oh, I should have paid the bounty while I was doing You're the sure other quest. You this place out right. Forgot. Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You Thanks got for the posture check. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. The plan is to let they get a punch in the face. Oh, here, Morgan. True. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's where they stash the money. Hope you know what you're doing. So we're gonna have to tie them up. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. I don't like this. about five seconds to get the hell off my property boy daddy uh, look we don't want no trouble we just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way there were a dozen of them coming up east what where don't kill right him here. it's up Arthur. here come the rest of them oh they were the outlaws well watch it they're coming out Put your hands up! Nice and easy! You saw what we did to your pals here! Okay, okay, I give up! Don't you! I ain't armed! Tie him! I can do that? Okay. Well. Can I agree? Tell us where you stash your money and we let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Is that a mosquito? 
secret stash spot, you will often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Here we are. You got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Ooh. Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Money. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Loose? Oh, you find something yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Ooh. Hey, it's over there. Oh, so if I can't find it, then he will. That's good. <laughs> hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Opportunities to find a homestead in the uh, method make off with highest amount of money. Ooh. So I can basically go into someone's house, threaten them, tell them where they hide, it's, uh, ask them where they hide their stash, and get maximum income. Hello? Hello, stranger. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. He's Who British, of course. <laughs> what is this quest? Wrangle wild animals. Who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive, and a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If Thank well, you. I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's Can I? Bloody Margaret, not madam. Can I uh, tie animals? Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Because, like, how else do I bring them back? Hmm. Yeah, I did hear about the Wukong. I was thinking about playing it in the beginning uh, just for, like, content reasons. But, like, I have no interest in being a monkey. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just not appealing to me. So I decided not to. Oh, that's a zebra. <laughs> I 
long walks on the beach. Lucky. Come here. Come here. What they done to you? Is that a donkey? Come on now. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. This makes me sad. I hate circuses and like these kinds of things. I mean, I thought, you know, he imported animals. I don't know. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. <laughs> Hood if someone ever accuses me of like lying, gaslighting, gatekeeping, I can just say that. It's an illusion to bamboozle the senses. <laughs> Wink. Our audiences. <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Be a lord of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. Uh, but um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Yeah, so none Please. of the animals are I hate to ask. what they are. All right, I'll see what I can I do. wonder if a tiger is going to be a tiny kitty. <laughs> Smooth. Where is she? Hi. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? No, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Wait, it's a okay. dog? Hold on. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. Gotta use my witcher senses. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Oh, Baby folks on a dog, track. There's some pigment here. Maybe it was rolling in the dirt. Ah, there we go. We never used it Looks before. Like, like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Oh, maybe the alligator attacked. Because we are in the swamp. Found your dog. Ex Aww. dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. 
What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oh, that's so sad. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. Thank you. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Oh. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Wait, is that an actual? Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. It looks like an actual tiger, though. Damn. All right. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all, we got a ways to go yet. I hope Horsey is gonna follow me. Wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner mm. the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Kitty! Oh, it's so cute. Can I pet her? We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked, too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. This is the kind of speed you're meant to take in a dust storm. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. 
I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. I love how when he's talking to women, he is so nice. Oh no, I was just helping. You did all the stuff. I just came in. But then if he's talking to men, it's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your ass. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Margaret! Hi, Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her doing. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked <laughs> her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a car barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, <laughs> I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Wait, do they want me to like... Be a dear and fix me a gin. Like, what do they want for me to do? Uh, or, they want me to kidnap a dog? Because, hold on. I thought the lion was the, the dog, was supposed to be the lion. Uh, oh, they have another one. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Ty, welcome. Hold your side. I am holding it. Hold yours. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog. Thank in you. There. A dog? No. Birthday stream. <laughs> Excuse me. Heck yeah. Congratulations and step all aside. that. Thank you what? so much, Zil. I said step aside. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this is going to be an actual lion because of how they... Oh my god, I'm scared. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. No, he thinks that it's a dog. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Come on, girl. Wait, hold on. Okay, maybe using a horsey is not really a good idea. Let's get a shotgun. I have 13 uh, ammos. Hello? hi you look so nice today by the way it's my birthday i am leo this is leo let's go lady you Shit.
Lion. Damn. Oh, he got it. He shot the thing. Is he dead? I pray that things are gone. Yeah, that's gonna fit in the <laughs> the little bag. My God. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Wait, why can't I skin it though? Come on, skin it. <laughs> Just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I know. <laughs> a goose? <laughs> we'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rama, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. This is not real. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, so it's plastic. as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. You have been goofed. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for oh the my line? God. He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Emerald? This can't be real. Hmm. Oh, my camp is down here. Let me go to the fence and sell it. Just trying to make it through another day. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good. A new patron. Welcome. Welcome. 50? Well, okay. So this was a bit expensive then. Welcome. You just discovered my little shop here? What do they sell? Dynamite? Tomahawk? Machete? Oh, you need some exclusive, huh? Lion's paw trinket? What do I do with the trinket? They're like passives? Oh, wait. Then I could maybe make the lion paw trinket if that's the case. Let me go back to him. Oh, good. A new patron. Welcome, Craft. welcome. Player stamina experience bonus. Oh, so it's un already unlocked then. I don't need to like do anything extra. Ah, nice. Apprentice. More like servant. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Hmm. Okay, we'll do that after. Well, you'll see. 
Well, Let's check right. what I can do. Thank you. you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Oh, he's gonna take Rest church's donations. Easier, church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. I guess they have been doing okay. that from the dawn of time. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. <gasps> Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Grave robbing? I'm a good citizen. I can't be called grave robbing. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. We can come at night. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <sighs> breathing woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? Married? Don't be goopy. I don't know what to say to you. <sighs> you two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We yeah, was fine I mean, until you got here, mister. Good day I mean, now. graveyards don't really scream... Um... <laughs> you know? Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I mean, I don't think watching the gate is going to do much of anything because they can come in through any <laughs> like area around. Oh, there's someone coming in. I feel like this is going to be a fun mission. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. True. <laughs> are you even scaled at massive fence? <laughs> True. You see, like, actually doing it? Uh oh. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. We might have some troublemakers. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? Excavation no, I ain't work? Mind you at all. You carry on with your business. We'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. Uh oh. Uh oh. At least hit me. You gonna get a whooping? You gonna? I mean, this is not a weapon. You gonna? Who's talking now? Huh? Damn! 
Ah, uh, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Where's my hat? That sound with the final hit. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees it. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> so I just leave. Okay. Is he not gonna like, <laughs> sir? Um, might want to close that up, maybe. Give, oh, give all that. Yeah, there we go. This this one. This might add some money. Just a little bit. Yay! And then four horses. I don't think we need $300 for three stakes and a rope, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> 